Hey guys, Josh from the Boat Dock here. Today I want to talk a little bit about winterizing. Um, we get calls pretty consistently this time of year with just questions on what to do, what not to do. Do I have to winterize? Do I not have to winterize? And I just want to clear some of that up for you. Um, some of, one of the biggest questions I get is I keep my, my motor in, inside a heated garage and I don't have to winterize it. Um, it, nothing is further from the truth with that. Um, when we, we do a lot of rebuilding engines here, and if we disassemble an engine and put it on the shelf and let it, let it sit, that engine will start rusting up if we don't coat it with oil, and we, we actually use a fogging solution when we do that, but it'll start rusting up within two weeks if we don't touch it. Now, your motor sitting in a garage with nothing done to it, I promise you, will start rusting in that same time frame. Um, the other thing I hear all the time is, well, I start my motor every once a month or every two months or something like that. So what happens is that's fine and that's probably better. Maybe if you do it more often that would be better, but all you're doing is you're taking that rust and you're cleaning the cylinders with it. Well, rust and metal do not go hand in hand. So not a, not a good idea. Um, when we winterize them, we're, we're putting a coating on the cylinders so they cannot rust. And that's, that's the purpose of that. Um, the other thing we hear all the time is, well, my fuel tank is full. It says that on the internet, keep your fuel tank full to keep water out. All the new motors and even some of the older motors, they have such good um, fuel filters for water. Um, you do not have to worry about that. Which you, you know, we use the Mercury branded fuel stabilizer. And as much as I think that stuff is phenomenal, I promise you if you put a full tank of 91 octane in it and we stabilize the fuel in spring it will not be 91 octane. So we want the freshest gas we can in spring so our motors don't detonate and fail in spring. So keep your tanks as low as you can possibly do it then stabilize the fuel. In spring you put 91 octane on top of the old gas which will bring the octane up and then you go fishing. So keep that in mind as well. Um, here at the boat dock, I mean, we, we do things different than a lot of dealers, and we feel we do them the best way. Um, all, all of our cruisers, when we run them things, uh, them have to be drained with water, just so you guys all know. All of our cruisers have to be fully drained with water or they will crack, and you are out of a motor. So, but all of our cruisers are run on solid biodegradable antifreeze, um, so they are full. They cannot rust internally. A lot of dealers will just drain your block and that's it. You know, they're they're just they're just waiting to rust. It's just water and cast iron. So it will rust in your promise. Ours are full to the max with biodegradable antifreeze in spring. You do not have to come back here. You go to the lake, you turn you put fresh gas in, go to the lake, turn the key, and go boating. Um, all our outboards are all ran. Actually we do outboards, every motor almost is different the way we do it but we have a technique to do it that we feel is the absolute best way. And the other thing we do is we guarantee that in spring that that motor will start. So if it doesn't start, bring it back in and we'll take care of it. Usually no charge unless there's something that caused the issue. But um, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, feel free to call us. Um, and if you want to get in for, we don't really do appointments, we do first come first serve, but we get stuff done here, so and it's done right, and you don't have to worry about it in the spring. So if we can help you, give us a call, 920-269-2628. Thanks.